Of all the bands who've used masks, Slipknot kind of stand out from the crowd. Imagine a metal band that ran away to join the circus, but the circus was a circus of horror. <laughs> The Grammy-winning band have been wearing masks on stage for 20 years and are still going strong. Worldwide, they're more recognized by their fans as their masked alter egos than as themselves. The masks makes me get off. For me, it's like religion. The masks hurt when they have them on, which is also awesome. It's Chris, it's James, it's Mick. It just makes me horny, it makes me get off, okay? Arts Night caught up with lead singer Corey Taylor and percussionist Sean Cran, wow. AKA Clown, backstage in Gothenburg, Sweden, in a rare unmasked moment. I had gotten a version of this mask when I was 14, and I was just drawn to it, and it was awesome. And I just never knew why it was in my world, but it was always around me. And then one day, um, it just so happened, it was that moment of clarity to decide what I wanted to project. And I'm like being taught something more and more and more, and I haven't even figured it out yet. This thing has no fucking limits. I was there for the very first Slipknot show. I was in the audience. This is before I joined the band. It was so many different things all at once. It was visual. It was visceral. It was antagonistic. It was dangerous. It was powerful. Like, I had never seen a band like that before. It was taking everything that had been done creatively, artistically, visually, and, and to me, taking it to such a different realm. And I love the fact that every mask was different because it represented a different person. It wasn't all linear and just kind of thrown together. It really felt like everyone had put a lot of time and thought into what they were doing. So when I did join, after some trial and error, I came to emboss that theory onto the mask that I was wearing, you know. The mask for me has always been that physical representation of the person inside me who just never had a voice. It allows me to be me, you know. I mean, that's what it's all about. You know, you talk about that, that representation of the person on the inside, you know, I'm showing you more than I've ever revealed, you know, because you take this away and it comes back to this, there are niceties, there are manners, there are morals, there are rules, there are all these things that go into life and just having to bump into other human beings, you know? When it comes to this, you know, all bets are off and you can really let that animal off the chain as, as far as you really want to go. None of us really know what we look like anyway. I mean, we rely on mirrors and yeah. things like this, but you can't see outside your own nose. Yeah. You know, so we're all uncomfortable with our faces. We're always looking for a better face. We're always looking to improve the eyebrows or, cut, you know, whatever we do, all this crappy vanity, you know, we never just solidify the thought of who we are, and we're always looking. You ready? Ready. Everyone who wears a mask, embrace it, because you're not being somebody else, you're being yourself, you know? And the closer you can get to that middle, to getting to know that, that honesty, is better for everybody, because then you can actually be yourself. Where'd he go? You won't let me fucking start. I'm just about to play it. 